Hey guys, it's your boy Clark with another episode of Dragon Quest XI. Sorry that the uploads have been very sparse lately. I was ill. Uh, so, from the last time we collected this little girl here with the beautiful blue hair and then... Was it Veronica? Is it Veronica I think her name is? She's like, she knows where her sister is. So let's go follow her and I believe... It is... Take Veronica and Connie to the bar in Hot Oak. So it's up here. Mm, I actually do have a quest, I think, don't I? Do I have a quest on? I can't remember if I do. I'll probably do somewhere. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. No. <laughs> Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? Nothing. She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome. Why is he speaking in riddles or... Poems. It's actually quite aggravating. <laughs> no one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. <sighs> A fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wondered. Sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh. I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Seems it. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travellers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? I knew you wouldn't let me down. I just clicked yes. As soon as it came up, yes. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. Mm. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. No. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Whoa! Right, let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. Entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. Oh, I definitely will be letting you down. Don't you worry. I need to actually check something, though. I want to check if I can. I want to be able to check my, um... Oh, hello. Is there a way to be able to check my, um... Fun size forge, there we go. So I can make okay. 
Dead ones I can make. I want to know. I think I've got a side quest into where I need to make a golden ring, was it? I think. I can't remember. Am I, am I being an idiot? Let me go check up here because I know that I, had, I started a few quests as well. I don't think I did this one now. Sweat on one's brow, the hammer on a hot iron, the life of, of Smith. Art of our fathers, a village built on this trade. A proud tradition. We need iron ore. The mountains abound in it and an endless supply. Help us find it. Gather the ore we need so we need and reward awaits. Yeah. Look for crystals in the rocks, find a source of ore. Okay, let's see if I've, I think I might have already got it, you know. I think I may already have that. There's no way to check my quest catalog. There we go. So put a ring on it. So I need to make. You've been asked to. Okay. Uh, you've been asked by a blacksmith for us to collect a few ounces of vinyl. Okay. Let's go do it. Do. I want to make sure that I try to do as much as I can for that forge. Um, because I can only assume that it helps out massively in the long run. So. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's have a run around real quickly. I'm gonna look for crystals in the rocks. This day, there we go, that's up there. Oh, we've got Veronica on the team now, aren't we, as well, I think? No. I thought we would. I thought we would. I thought we would. Oh, she's just following us for now. Junko, iron ore. There we go. That's what we like. So I think I've got enough iron ore now to be able to do that. Do 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 do. Let's go back to the blacksmith. Do 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 do. Yeah 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 yeah. I wonder if does it, do I have to be. At a, um, hmm. I'm guessing I have to be at a little fireplace to be able to make the ring. So I might do that after I've done this part here. Let me just go and see if that's enough for iron ore for him. You found your yes. There we go. Now I must confess, in truth, we had we had enough for. I wish to test you. You've passed with a pomp. You have a true miner's heart. You may keep your. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I must reward you for it. It's home. It's yours. Oh, rest people can tie to high heart arms. Nice. Oh god, I can make new weapons. Boom. Right, now we know what I've got what I can't use that then. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to use that then. Um hmm. So I need to be at a fire to, be able to use the forge. Yeah, I probably need to come back to Hato as well. I think I can only use it. I think I can only use the fun little fun size forge at the campfires. Could be wrong. But let's attack these. A group of enemies appeared. Oh, Veronica. Okay. Veronica is behind me, but. Oh, that crit damage, though. Bongo Dongo. Oh, that's back up there. We're going to go get some more iron ore. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, it's not there. Damn, I thought it would be. So, if we can sit down here, eh? Nothing over there. Oh, now we've got to cross over here, have we? To be fair, if we can get 
that done, get the gold ring done, go back, then we're done for the quests, as far as I know, that potentially help with giving, um, don't wait, giving stuff for the fun size forge. Do 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 do. Extensive experience on his quest of granted him new crafting capabilities. Nice, double edged bash. Right, so we will forge accessories. We will forge a ring. Okay, we've done that one. Hey, that does it. That does that one. Let's get in. Is that giving me plus one? Yeah. Let's find that. Right, let's go make some. I think I can do an armor now. Bronze armor. Does that. Is that oh, look how much better that is than what I've got already. We're going to make bronze armor. I love crafting. And I know it might be a bit boring for watching, but I absolutely love doing it. Oh, I've gone over. Damn. <laughs> Crap, that might just be a standard. Is that going to be plus one? No, it's just normal. Hey, it's better than what we had. Uh, but I am going to try to rework it. I'm going to try to rework it straight away. Just because I can. Let's see how we get on. Come on. Nice. Nice. We're going to try a double-edged one here. Nice. Nice, okay. That does it. That should be plus one. Should be better than what we had at. Success. Plus one. There we go. Much better. We will now try rework a sword. Uh, I've been using great swords at the moment. Cast Iron Claymore. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, I'm using the great swords at the moment, so I need to find some more ore for that. I can't use any more of that, okay. Right, now though, we can go back to uh, Hotto again and uh, finish that quest off. Bit of back and forth for the start of the series. Yeah, start the series, start the episode. But now, once we've done that, the quest is done. And uh, yeah. Look at that. Charm goes down, but my defense goes up. I like it. I like it a lot. Wait, how can we come by a two? But oh, we can. That. No, I can't use the gold ring. <laughs> Come on, let's just go back over to Hotto. Doo -doo. I haven't really done much fighting over this this episode. I've just been um, doing these two quests. Yeah, yeah. But now this quest will be done. We can go over to uh, Serena, Serena. Oh. Jed Ring, yes. Nice. So we've got a Crusoe rank. I think that is full. That will go on to my good friend Eric. Right. They're both done now. 
Now we're gonna get smoother. Wrong way. Down this way. Do, 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 do. Auto step A. Cryptic crypt. Okay, let's go there. I was dead close to it actually before. I wonder when we can actually sort out these hot baths here. So we can actually go get the chest. That's Mount Huji. The door of departure from the far east. I've only, I'm, technically we've got three characters now, aren't I? Because we've got Veronica. I wonder. Come on. Oh, there's something up there. The shiny, 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 shiny. Ooh, ooh, crystals. Are you know? Yes. Yes, that's what we like to see. What's up here? A chest. Let's fight these. I haven't fought these yet. Rump wizards. Scorch there. So I think it hits them every time they move into it. Okay. And don't come back. Yeah, don't come back. Jesus. What do you think you are? Right. Nothing down there. Let's go into the cryptic crypt. What your name? Cryptic crypt. Oh, what are these? Oh God, there's loads. Oh, nice. Says all. Code one. There we go. What's that shiny? I you know. It's fight him. I reckon I'm a bit under level because I've been avoiding the fights moving you. So maybe we might be have to be a little bit of grinding off of you. Oh nice crit. We like crits, we like crits all day. Another one fight. I can't wait till I can get dual wielding as well on uh, Eric. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make him OP. I don't know what the best way is to go, by the way, at all. I'm just guessing. Like I said, any tips and tricks, feel free. Huh. Surely I've got to be close to leveling up now. Yeah, well, not really that close, but character build it. Uh, need five for that. 
Okay. I want this. <laughs> Dual wield. Let's go fight them. A mud mannequin. Sounds hot. He's dead now. Another one. Wait, do we get the full XP? We do. Okay, let's make sure. Oh, he's fast asleep now, isn't he? Oh! Cheers, Veronica! Right, we're going to use Sizzle on these three. Should be able to kill these now. There we go, both dead. That should be quite a bit of XP as well. 89. Nice. Whew, let's heal. Why is this chest look very... It was too nice to be true, wanted that chest. It was just too good to be true, that. We've now got a level up coming over from both of these now, what would be good. Silent so Wouldn't affect Parky or Eric. Oh god. Would have been screwed. Keep casting it all you want, mate. We have Ronnie who just comes in. See ya! Another one There we go, I've got some Karki. Oh yeah. Well I've got for Eric. Yes, we will. Right, Karki. There we go. How he chopped her. Nice. Attack power and wielding plus 15. Whew. That's, that's, that's quite a lot. Right, knives. So we're close to getting that one now. We just literally got that. <laughs> So now, our next one will be that. A slice strike that can easy sleeping or confused enemies take six times the usual damage. So if we lose sleep hit it, then use that afterwards. Ooh, that, that's, that's naughty. Very naughty. Let's have a check over here, shall we? It's locked tight, oh dear. Ah yeah, we've got ladders here to get back up. Mm -hmm. 
This one gonna drop me down as well. Wow. Well, touch the edge of the silver root. Ooh. Is he gonna give me a flashback? Oh. Oh, he's giving me the. I almost forgot. There's a trap up ahead. I forget my shadow if it wasn't so long. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What will the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way round. Uh, so that's a trap, and that's going to drop you below. Well, it makes me want to go do it because. We know that there's an underground passage now, and there's be chests. Just saying. Okay, so I'm just pulled down that one anyway. See? Chest. See what I mean? We get chesty woo. Two gold doors. Been provided. Let's fight this guy. See, see how much damage he does. Hey. They weren't that Easy. bad. 67 experience still. This game you do need to do grinding on, don't you? Oh. Oh. Veronica! Say bye to Rump Mage. Oh dear. Not too over. See, I ate a drag I really didn't kill him. Kill him then, come on. There we go. And then we get into this. No, you don't. Wrong with me, actually. Is there anything down there? Down this way. I know that that gate was locked tight. I want to make sure that it wasn't uh, a chest on that other side. Da -da 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 Oh, I thought there'd be a chest over there. I'm an idiot. There's a chest over there, sorry, but I thought the trap wouldn't be there. Okay. Gotta go the wrong way, though. So we will run straight over. Oh my god. Ah, there's the one up. I could cry. I want to quick cry. So right, the one to the left here. I should have really watched that. Well, well, I wouldn't watch it, but I should have paid attention to it more. There's that chest we wanted. But what does Gemma's charm do for us? Chance of being beguiled reduced by 30. Okay. Eh. 
Not really that hard, like that. Let's kill Dr. Duo. I mean, what? Hey, why can't I say okay, that I can attack you? Because that. Let's see if we've got the antidote more here. Probably do. There we go. Should be good enough for now. Oh, something fell. Oh, we've got a save point here. It's one heck of a fountain to oh. be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there. <sighs> Serena, wake up. It's me, Veronica. Mm -hmm. That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! No, <laughs> just wanted a nap. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! Is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... Dad. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't... <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well... I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <laughs> <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one! Pat you on the head, pat you on the head. Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. Of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. Oh. Got healing spells now. Nice. Let's dismount from that. Nice. Oh, I can save it as well. That's even better. Right, let's go. Ooh, what's this going to do? Oh, we got to see. Is this going to be where we can see the uh, things that happened to Veronica? Forgot. You need a password to get through here. 
and it was a Umbra Kadumbra. Umbra Kadumbra. Okay, Umbra Kadumbra. Umbra. Kadumbra. Oh, okay. I thought I had to actually pick like an option. Oh, this is the first real like big boss fight, and I think I died to this the first Are time. You party? You come here and tell well, what Jarvis soon died that you let that lovely juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? <laughs> you knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadows' respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. Oh, look, mate. <laughs> Of shadows. That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. <laughs> See that jar by the big Watch fat it. one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. <laughs> huh? Do you <laughs> love guests? <laughs> Especially when they bring me presents. If it isn't the one that got away, talk about it in the jackpot. <laughs> now, just sit tight while we suck every ounce of magic out of you. Looks like we'll be fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. Probably. No. Scorched Earth. <laughs> nice. We'll take the Scorched Earth because now whenever they get a turn, they get attacked. There you go. Hopefully we can kill one off. There we go, one is dead. Ow. Please heal. Right, we're gonna kill off this one. Cheers, Serena. Okay, that's another one dead. Actually, I think the map will be pretty decent. That should do pretty well here. That Scorched Earth definitely help out a lot. Hang on. Ability, shall do Sleeper here? There. Ah, it fades off. Um, I'm going to heal with, going to heal Eric, Serena might heal me then, there we go, that's what we wanted. Got 
got papped up. That's a good thing. Eric's now full health. Come on, put him to sleep. There we go. Why did you wake him up? Fuck! Right. Room attack. Come on. I've done pretty well here. We defeated Jarvis. And I see absolutely bum me you know. Ow. There we go. See you later, Jarvis. 670 XP. Woo! Spicy. I'm close to leveling up already. <sighs> oh, I'll never be the Lord of Shadow's right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Ugh. All my dreams shattered. Oh. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> <laughs> we'll find out soon enough, huh? <laughs> right. Time to get my magic back. There we go. Everyone's gonna get their magic back. Oh, I hope this works. Wait, is she, is she gonna get back to all? Is she back to a normal age, or oh. is she gonna stay still, stay still, being a kid? <laughs> she stayed a kid. But you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> no need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. Nice. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. Ooh. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Yeah. Trust you to see the funny side. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Yeah, you shall. Powers. Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. Oh. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. It was just a... So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Oh. 
Okay, awarded for being recognized as luminary by the two twins from Aboria and trust with ensuring your safety. Oh. Okay, break these, nice. There's a chest up this one. No, nothing. Shame. 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 <laughs> Gosh, look at all these cells. What a horrid place. Hey, oh. who's there? to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. <laughs> you were starting to worry. And what about your poor little daughter on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh. oh I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Wait, you know Connie? Yes. We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'm Noah, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. Do it. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? Hmm. Oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he Eric seems to know him. Rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. Hmm. Karki and his companions make their way out of the labyrinth and head back to Hotto, where they spend the night at the end. Then morning comes. <gasps> oh, morning. Not morning time. Oh no. Right, so you are there. Do. Awake at last, huh? Don't worry, we all just woke up too. And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Okay. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. Okay. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Never tried thinking before opening your big mouth. In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bump. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. 
He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. <laughs> and you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! To the bar! To the window! To the wharf! I don't know why I said that. I felt like it. No. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. The nice man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Just one more for the road, sweetie. You never know. <laughs> he might have some hot gossip that I need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumours, huh? Some things never change. <laughs> You're no one, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge, too big or too small. No other know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> and what if they did? Oh, I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and then monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. <laughs> Normally, I would have walloped the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and... Well, I just hope she's all right. <laughs> Veronica is such a bitch. Kind of. Honestly. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Yggdrasil? Crikey. You mm. lot don't do things by us, do nope. ya? Nope, we don't. Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert. When we came down, we have a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's bleeding palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen him. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Can you get to the point before we sleep with story? Well, I know top-end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. You're a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself. Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> we should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. That's like the second time I said it now already. <laughs> de, 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 de. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a key. Oh, Galapagos Pass. Okay. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. Okay. Hey. 
Well, right then guys, we're going to end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Next time, we'll be heading over to, to Galapagos. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.